what's going on guys, Daniel from ModBot here and another different background. Um, that's right, we are back in my living room this time and we are unboxing another 3D printer. This is the G2S Delta printer from GTech. They were awesome enough to send it to me. It is a do-it-yourself kit so I will be doing another live build and all the usual videos I do with my kits. Um, so in this video, we're just basically going to go ahead and unbox it and see what we get with it. I'm extremely excited because this will be my first Delta style printer and I've been fascinated with these style of printers for quite a long time and so I'm really excited to finally get to assemble one and test one out and see how this compares to my Prusa style printer as well as my 4XY style printer. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. I was actually extremely impressed. Um, this thing shipped out Friday or was it Thursday? Thursday or Friday from Hong Kong and today's Monday and it showed up on Monday. So that is extremely crazy fast shipping. So basically gonna go ahead and open the box and I kind of pull out the items and show them to you because again, it's such a big kit that it's hard to um, kind of show all this. I might have opened it from the wrong angle, which is perfect. So we'll go ahead and take this foam off. Yeah, everything was situated quite nicely in here. Let's see what we've got. We'll just kind of go through it one by one. Basically, um, we've got some L8U bearings, it looks like, with the bearing holders, which um, will probably be for the different arms of the 3D printer, I imagine. We have got, let's see, we've got a stepper motor. We have got a, another stepper motor. We have got a, another stepper motor. We have then got a extruder assembly with the Bowden fitting already situated on top and all nicely wired up actually with, um, it's got basically a wire wrap which I am a huge fan of. Um, basically means it'll look a lot cleaner. And then it's got like a uh, already looks like aluminum mount on the top of the extruder. We've also got a second extruder assembly, um, identical to the first one. Basically, this is a dual extruder machine, which will also be my first dual extruder machine, which I am really excited about to see how well it's able to do multi-color, which will be really awesome for some really uh, really neat prints. Then we've got, it looks like the arms for the um, Delta printer right here, all the different arms. We have got all of the smooth rods, which is a lot more than on the other printers I've uh, built, as well as a lot longer, because again, it is the Delta style printer, so it'll be more uh, taller than wider. These are shit really heavy, gotta be careful. Put them on glass here. We've got some clear zip ties, always nice to do some cable management and keep things out of the way. We have got a packet of, just looks like cables, looks like stepper motor um, cables, which again have that nice coating um, on the cables, which will hopefully make it where I don't have a bunch of wires dangling, because that's, I hate that, that's annoying. You know I spend a lot of time with my cable management. Um, and we've got some plastic, parts here which almost look like um, clips, like locking clips, some way to like, the only thing I could think of that would use these is like the uh, plastic underskirt of a car or like the plastic covering in a car, they're just obviously a lot smaller scale, so could be wrong, but that's what these definitely look like, or potentially anchors, I can't really tell if they're clips or anchors yet, but time will tell. We have got some mounts, um, these look like the smooth rods will be sliding through them. That's what these are right here. Then we have got these bearings. These look like bearings. We've got three bearings in here um, in this little baggie. Then we've got the attachments for um, the stepper motors. Basically, this is the attachment that has the grooved, uh, ribbed groove for the belts to be able to make the printer go up and down. So that is what these guys are right here. Then we've got a bag of belts. Um, one thing I will say that I'm already noticing, which is a huge plus, is that everything is individually packaged with a number, like an item number on them. So um, I would imagine this will correlate with the build log, which I should have looked at. I did look at the build video to kind of get a brief idea, but um, that is awesome because I've mentioned this before, but the first print I built, all the parts came in one bag, which was awful. Um, and on the last printer I built, it was a lot better. Everything was um, a lot more separated. Um, so yeah, but this has definitely been a step up from that. This is really, really nice. Um, here it looks like we've got some, uh, are they printed or aluminum? They look feel aluminum. Definitely feel aluminum. I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure what these are at all. So I'm not even gonna try to guess. Then we've got some screws. It looks like tons of different bags of screws. Screws, 
screws, screws, screws, screws, and more screws, and even more screws, even more screws. So just a ridiculous amount of screws. Um, then we've got these, which look like they're basically they join two threaded parts together. So I'm not sure what this will be used for off the top of my head, but obviously joining something that's got threads on both sides. Looks like maybe two different size threads potentially. Um, we've got some washers, washers, more washers, nuts, nuts, nuts. Um, I'm not even sure what these are called, but they're basically like hand tighteners. I know that's definitely not the technical term for them. Screws, 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 very big screws. We've got um, these guys. These look like potentially they'll slide into, now I'm not sure what these are. They look actually kind of like square washers, so that could be potentially what they are. I'm not really sure what these guys are. We've got some springs, which I take it will be for the heated bed. Some more little screws. I gotta be careful not to lose these things. Aha, we've got a bunch of wrap to clean up the cables, which is fantastic. I do have a ton of this in black um, that I bought uh, off of Amazon, but very happy that they include this. I think this is something that kids should come with just to clean up your wiring. That is very nice. Um, we have got a knob, which is, I would take it for the included LCD screen, which is also an awesome feature. Then we have got a power cable with the plug right here. And it actually has a switch, which is really nice. Um, this is something that I've had to mod and add on to both of the other kits, so I might not have to actually do that with this one. It actually looks like it has potentially LED um, like notification to let you know when it's on or off, so that's pretty cool. That's definitely a neat thing to include. We've got another smooth rod. We've got, I don't know what this is. Oh, I think this might be the probe. This could quite possibly be, there's a probe for auto leveling, so this could definitely be that. I, I believe that's what that is right there. We have got a, I am not sure what this is. This could be the probe cabling, that's what I would assume. We got some more springs. We have got uh, a couple of what looks like potentially stepper motor attachments. Definitely could be stepper motor attachments. We've got an additional fan, which may be an extruder fan, I'm not totally sure. Another additional fan, are these the same size? No, they're different sizes, so I don't know, maybe one's for an extruder. Um, I'm not sure what the other one would be used for, but that's neat that they include two small fans. I like that. We've also got the end stop switches, which are um, just kind of generic switches, um, similar to the ones from the Bob CNC printer. A little bit different in terms of the actual switch, but pretty similar. We've got our key for tightening um, the screws. We have got heat sinks for the stepper motor drivers. We've got some more cables, which I again am not sure what these are in particular used for. Time will tell. USB cable. Looks like. Looks like another attachment for a stepper motor. These are, these almost look like little cooling blocks, potentially cooling blocks. This one has a lot more stuff than any of the other ones, like in terms of like just different looking. I know it's a completely different style printer and that's probably why. Another one of those aluminum blocks, I don't think these are actually cooling parts, I think these are parts of the extruder assembly. This definitely looks like um, the actual main part of the extruder it's going to attach to. So I don't know if you have to 3D print out an additional attachment for the second one, or maybe these aluminum pieces can connect um, whether if you want to do the two extruders. I don't think you have to do a dual extruder if you don't want to. I'm going to give it a go because it's something I've never had. Um, and if it's useful, great. If not, then I'll get rid of it. I honestly have no idea what this is. It looks like a tiny sander. I don't know if it's to clean up contact points potentially. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it until I look in the uh, manual. It's all nice and wrapped up, so I don't want to mess with it. Couple more attachments, which looks like it'll probably go on the extruder assembly. This is badass. I don't know if this is a standard if they just hooked me up, but you actually get a complete tool set with a ton of different attachments. This is awesome. This is this is really cool. Um, definitely not something that they'd have to include. Um, so that that, in my opinion, is a big plus that they give you that as well as the cable wrap. Those are two really cool things they don't have to include. We have got our power supply, which is a pretty standard 3D printer power supply. 
we have got what looks to be, yeah, we've got our graphic LCD screen. Another big plus, something I don't really use too often, but they aren't very expensive, and I think that it's a cool feature to have if you want to, I believe, yeah, it has SD card support and LCD screen with the knobs so you can control, preheat, and monitor your prints from the printer. Definitely very cool, and I think that's an awesome thing that they included that. A board, which this is actually very surprising. I was expecting a Ramps Arduino combo board, but this is actually a custom board. I'm sure it's Arduino based, um, but this looks nothing like I don't think there's a RAM for Arduino combo. I think it's all in in this one board potentially, which is very cool. Um, I'll have to get some close-up shots of this. Um, probably not with the unboxing, but maybe during the build or something like that. Or maybe I'll just post it. I'll probably post it on like my Instagram or my Twitter if you want to take a look at this board. But th this is exciting. I'm really excited that I get to work with a different board setup. Um, although it looks very similar, it's probably why some of the cables looked a little foreign to me because. It looks like it uses maybe a little different um, inputs for some of them, but you've got also five pre-installed um, stepper motor drivers, so two extruders and then the three for the stepper access is. That's really cool. And then we've got a bunch of, I believe everything is acrylic. So we've got a bunch of acrylic parts for the main assembly itself. Another bag of, um, of acrylic parts for the assembly, and then we've got some bigger acrylic parts that are all it looks like covered, so you have to peel off. It looks like, unless you paint them after the fact, or it doesn't show, but I think you probably, yeah, it peels off. That's cool. It's actually neat that they keep it on to kind of protect it during shipping and to keep it looking really nice. I think it might have a gloss, yeah, it has a gloss finish. You can see, like, um, this is actually the LCD. Um, this is going to be the acrylic part where the LCD will mount behind. So that looks really, really nice. You see it says the GTEC LCD 2004 controller. So um, aesthetically, it looks phenomenal. So I'm, I'm really excited. I think this is going to be a really good looking printer. Then we've got our hot plate, which is very different than the hot plates I'm used to. Um, also a first time for me, um, a round hot plate because it is a Prusa, uh, not Prusa, I'm sorry, Delta style printer, and it's got an aluminum top on it instead of glass. So um, that I'm really excited about too, to see how aluminum compares to glass, because that's something I've never been able to do before. So um, this is exciting. I hope you guys are excited, because I definitely am. Uh, we've got some tubing for the Bowden setup. We have got some uh, um, plastic, which I don't know if it's PLA or ABS, but basically just some sample plastic for the sample print on. And then it actually looks like, I, I might be wrong, maybe you don't have the option to run a single or dual extruder because here is the aluminum block with dual extruders attached. So it might just be a dual extruder setup, which again, I'm really excited for because there's something that I wanted to print for my dad the other day and it was, I needed dual colors and I basically had to pause the printer and change out the filament to get it to work. So this will be really neat to see, well, again, what I'm able to do with this um, with my 3D prints. I definitely think that it will be able It'll allow me to basically be able to make some really cool looking stuff that I wasn't able to make before. So, excited about that. Then we have got a um, power cable for the actual, um, for the power supply uh, for the PSU. Then we have got the massive top piece followed by the massive bottom piece. A checklist which does look like it was manually, individually, I, I, uh, line item checked, which, phenomenal. That is something that I have spoken of before. All three of the printers I've gotten so far kit-wise have, have had this included, but I definitely think this is something that every single kit should have. Although my first one was still missing parts and everything had been checked off, but still, it goes to show a little bit of quality control and just to make sure, uh, hopefully, you know, the people are checking it thoroughly. So, um, very, very happy that they did include this. They also seem to have included a manual. Um, is it a build manual? Okay, it shows you all the parts. Very cool. So this is not a build manual. They do have a video series as well as a online PDF. But this is just general stuff. Packaging uh, list introduction. And it's literally got pictures of each and individual item in here with how many pieces are supposed to be included. So this is definitely a step up. Um, Obviously, things like difficulty of build, um, quality of print, calibration, and all that good stuff is going to have an effect on my opinion. Um, 
but my initial impression is I am thoroughly impressed with what you are getting. Um, the price on this thing I think retails at it's three is it three three sixty or three eighty. Um, I'll have to put I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll put a link in the description in case you guys are interested in, in reading more or purchasing one for yourself. But for the price, the fact that you're getting a Delta machine with dual extruder, um, the bed leveling feature, the heated bed. Um, and everything else, the LCD screen and all the stuff you're getting, it, it definitely looks extremely promising. And I know looks can be deceiving, but again, this is a initial impression and I am extremely impressed so far. So um, let me guys know in the comments down below what you think. If you're excited to see a Delta printer, print, or printer being assembled on my channel, I will make an additional video basically telling you guys when I will be making doing the live stream build of this bad boy so that way you can tune in if you would like to do so. And um, yeah, on that note, I will end the video. Once again, guys, this is the G2S Pro Rostock Delta Printer from G-Tech, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you in my next video. Daniel from ModBot, and I am out. Peace, guys.